What's your response to McCarthy's comments? I have to tell you, I find them deeply distressing. I knew the ambassador that we lost in Benghazi. Along with him, we lost three other brave Americans who were representing us in a very dangerous part of the world. There have already been eight investigations in the Congress, one independent investigation. We have learned all we can learn about what we need to do to protect our diplomats and our other civilians, and we need to be enforcing and implementing those changes, which is what I started and what Secretary Kerry has continued. So when I hear a statement like that, which demonstrates unequivocally that this was always meant to be a partisan political exercise, I feel like it does a grave disservice and dishonors, not just the memory of the four that we lost, but of everybody who has served our country. Joining me now, NBC Capitol Hill correspondent Luke Russert. Luke, a lot to talk about. You've got a vote coming up yeah. within hours now, and you just heard the comments from Hillary Clinton. Yeah, Kate, uh, the vote, by the way, should go over fine, so we don't have to get that shutdown clock that we've seen uh, other times right. here on Capitol Hill. So rest assured that'll go through. But the big story, I think you're right, it's this uh, gaffe that I think it's safe to say that Kevin McCarthy said last night on Fox News, and it's caused some angst amongst House Republican leadership aides. I spoke to one who said to me, quote unquote, yikes. And the reason is, is because John Boehner, from the beginning of this select committee being set up, has gone out of his way to say that this is not partisan. It's directly been constructed to investigate the deaths of four Americans in Benghazi that occurred uh, back on 9-11 a few years ago. They have done everything in their power at the leadership level to try and get away from this being just a political exercise to put the mud on Hillary Clinton's tires. Now, because of this, you're hearing from Democrats quite forcefully, including Barbara Boxer, Senator of California, Adam Schiff, a high-ranking Intel chairman here, uh, ranking member, I should say, on Capitol Hill, that this committee committee should be disbanded. Now, October 22nd is the biggest day in the history of this committee. That's when Hillary Clinton is scheduled to testify. Uh, I'm told by Democrats that they expect to bring that up. Democrats on the committee will bring this comment up, as will Hillary Clinton, they expect. Now, McCarthy has issued a clarification statement saying, quote, this had nothing to do with politics, everything to do with the consequences of what former secretary has done in her confusing, conflicting, and demonstrably false responses. Uh, but that's not doing enough, I think, to, shall we say, calm the anger of Democrats here on Capitol Hill, and it's not instilling a lot of confidence in a lot of Republicans who did not want to go down this road in any capacity, Kate. Well, th well, then let me ask you, because, of course, Kevin McCarthy is running for speaker right now. He wants to be the new speaker of the House. Is there so much concern from House Republicans that that may not happen, or are you saying it's just a few voices? No, he'll still be speaker. I don't think this could uh, hurt that prospect. But I think that what you're starting to hear now in this echo chamber is, is this guy ready? Now, he'll have the votes because, quite frankly, nobody else really wants this job, and the conservative forces that say they want it have not been able to assemble behind somebody else. But keep in mind, he will have the least amount of experience for Speaker since anyone since 1891. He's never served as a committee chairman, first got here in 2006. So these questions are out there, and an answer like you had last night on Fox will only amplify that, as well as give Democrats quite a gift. I mean, this is something they've been trying to push for a while, and to have somebody as high up is the next speaker saying it, well, that's something that uh, they'll take to the bank and, and, and go all in on, Kate. Luke Russert on Capitol Hill, and we'll be talking to a member of the Benghazi Committee in the House coming up. Hey, YouTube fans, I'm Luke Russert. Thanks for checking out our MSNBC channel. Subscribe by clicking right here and click any of the videos over here to watch the latest breaking news, mini documentaries, conversations from Shift, and other digital exclusives. Check it out.